Buster Sword yeah. out, out of shield. Or you have like a really good like catching landing option because you know they're they're gonna up B afterwards and so if you if you have like Palutena up there to catch the 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 key downwards, you know? Or just a, like it, there's so many buttons. And like you can't really contest them unless you have like a pure disjoint. Right. Like it has to be a very good pure disjoint. So like usually game and watches are like struggling right. against the sorties. Right. I mean it's either you you play a disjointed character and you play the game of who can play Fade and Punish better, yeah. you know? Or you <coughs> play a character that can actually, like, beat Game & Watch into submission when he ever misspaces something. That's so I'm, hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm, and I'm thinking something along the lines of, uh, you know, Ken and Ryu, you know? Somebody that, like, when you do misspace it, because you're not going to be a perfect 100% of the time, you know? Yeah. But we are not talking about Game & Watch. We are talking about Lumbre versus K9 here in Loser Semis. Yeah. So K9 just straight going to C. You mean... Cena? I like Cena. Oh, old brain, old brain. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> but I mean, we were talking about with punishing earlier, and you know what? I feel like Lucina is very much one of those characters in this matchup because what Lumbrae's going to want to do is that he's going to want to space out everything with his disjointed uh, projectiles, you know, his up B, his side B. And you know, Lucina is all about, like, can I with punish whenever you misspace those, whenever you misspace fair or fair, and then hit you with my sword, you know? And it's also just like pure spacing. Lucina's usually. Like, notoriously really good in this matchup because, like, just that sword is just such a great discharge against whatever Ness wants to do. Oh, but that nice parry and got the grab and killed him. I mean, this is... I feel like most matchups for Ness are even, at the very least. Just because, you know, he has a lot of tools that can you know, make it really hard. But, yet again, when he's in disadvantage, that's where he, like, truly shows his weakness, you yeah. know? And Lucina is basically the queen of edge, you know? Yeah. She has all the tools to say, I'm not going to let you get back to stage. Really quick up B to get back to the ledge in order to reset the situation. Really good disjointed fair and bear to keep you off stage and keep you in disadvantage. And then if you get above her, up air. Yeah. It's also like, uh, I'm in a certain direction. I'm going to press that direction in A, and it will work out for me. Because <laughs> Lucina's... It's just such a good option. All of her options are so strong, and they don't really need to respect them really much of anything. All right, but now Lumbre is kind of putting on a pressure right now. Oh, yeah. And yet again, there's that run-up and shield. And you know what? It's one of those situations where who blinks first, you know? Because if you spot dodge and you bait out the, the grab, it's either you play that rock, paper, scissors of who's going to grab, yeah. you know? Ooh. Going for the dancing blade, getting him off stage. How is he going to deal with it? Oh, that third jump. That, that air dodge is <coughs> back to stage, yep. And, oh, opting to go for just the raw hit, knowing that he probably wouldn't be able to make it back. Yeah, it's PS2, so it's a little hard to get like those bounces. Right. Okay, here's the double jump. Opting to go immediately to the ledge with the edge guard, but gets a nice float cancel with the down B into the grab. <laughs> that was... Uh... Very aggressive option coming in from the break. Kane, I'm not really expecting it. And it was pretty safe, too. It was not really much he could have done to contest it. I mean, it's one of those just movement options that you never see any other character really have. So it's yeah. really hard to react to because you think, like, oh, flow cancel means that he, he's going to be slower because he's hovering in the air. But it actually changes his momentum. So it really mixes up your timing of when you want to approach. Yeah. <coughs> Down throw. I was going to catch and juggle. And actually, Lumbre was winning a lot of this, but got the air dodge. We're not, that did like no knockback. I mean, to be fair, she was only at like 20. Yeah. So it, it wasn't going to kill, but I mean, it's a lot of damage. It's just PK Thunder 2. Yeah. Oh, got the down smash. Nice leg go, too. Got the roll. I, actually, I'm surprised I got the roll. I mean, if you space it right, I, I wouldn't be surprised. But there oh. we go. Oh, and the parry, the up smash, not going to be quite enough. But, I mean, all it takes is one more grab at this point. Or, or the raw up, up smash. smash. But oh, you could be wrong again. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, she was below the ledge. Yeah. Like, it was just, oh, oh but K9 yeah. got him. Yep. He's been doing that way too much. He's been going way, way too, too low. low. I mean, the, the alternatives that you have, we've seen it right on stage waiting for you to go high and double jumping. And once you spend your double jump, like, if you get hit out of that, you're dead. Yeah. But you have hella air mobility as Ness. You do, but Man, when you're that. in that situation, you have to double jump. Yeah. You know? And so it's it's the risk versus reward where, like, if I double jump immediately and I get hit immediately, I'm immediately dead. Where as if you go low, they might mess up the timing, you know? Yeah. Well, it's more like a... It's you're a 50 to, yeah, yeah, you're trying to catch him or you're trying to get him. Right. Or you're trying to chase him. 
There we go. Off stage. Oh, hit him with the. Ooh, I thought he would be able to continue that, but there's like no. Uh, there was no hit stun on that, actually. I mean, yet again, it's one of those things that, like, upbeat doesn't know a lot of damage by itself, you know? At higher percents, yeah, you can, like, use the tail a bit to, like, continue the, the pressure a little bit. But, you know, it's, you gotta respect the, the, the hitbox a bit. Yeah. Stop stage, what is he gonna do? There, not, no, yeah, that's good. That's good. Alright, so the K9 is kinda, like, respecting a lot of Loombay's options, actually. Oh, unfortunately, last hit did not connect. That'll happen a lot at higher percents, where you know you'll get the dancing blade, and then if you don't do like the down, the up angle one at the third one, then the fourth one won't connect. Yeah. Or you just gotta be like there. Sometimes, like if you do the jump in, miss the first hit, then all like. But that was a great force, man. Oh yeah, definitely catching the air dodge right there. And if you're Limbray, you know you have to use that air dodge. That air dodge is how you're getting back to legend 90% of the time. So. Yeah. Down for another one up there, and another one. I was gonna land. I just gonna throw out the aggressive option. I mean, when you're getting juggled like that, you kind of have to do something, you know. Mm -hmm. Ooh, having a hard time, and as I said that, he just immediately up smashed them. I like how he retreated immediately, no, because K9 was expecting the smash attack. He was expecting the yo-yo, and so Ray kind of called that out, ran away, did the get up attack, and then got the punish off of it. Yeah. Oh, barely a little off on that. Well, unfortunately, misspacing the angle of the PK Thunder, so wasn't able to catch the landing. Yeah, I thought he was doing that because he wanted to get the bounce so he could do it like uh, the PK Thunder. Again. But nah, and I guess that I think he just actually just missed it. I mean, it was just a little too on his on top of his head. Oh, Fortel catching high. him below ledge. Yeah. Did he make it? No, the counter. Yeah. That counter is so destructive in this matchup. Yeah. You can never really, you can never truly recover with upbeat against the Xena. <coughs> and even then, they can just bury you out of it too. <laughs> Off stage. Oh, hit him with the tail. Not gonna get the punish, but gets a back air. Doesn't get the jump, and so K9 will able to get back to the corner safely. I like that Tomahawk attempt. And got him with an air, down smash. Nah, he's gonna get it. Right. Oh, Nair hit him. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he got cracked. And, and that grab is just the great equalizer, you know? Imagine, imagine getting grabbed at 120 and dying. Imagine getting grabbed at 100 and dying. Oh my Ooh. gosh. We get the cheeky fire, almost getting a second one, but K9 barely running away at the time. Yeah, I'm surprised that didn't catch. Most, it actually catches a lot, of, like a lot more. A lot of the other roles. Right, the, the retreating option. Yeah. But, ooh, that was a super aggressive dare to get him back to center stage, but... That's a Loombray special. I see him do that a lot. Here comes Ledge Trapping. Not going to let him get back to center stage. Goes in for the grab when he tries to go aggressive. And barely makes it back. And yeah. now we reset the positions again. Oh, man. He's got him with the stabby stab. Oh, he has to up beat. Oh, he's not going to aggressive. Oh, there's the up there. That's it. You know, you saw Moonbray just trying to pick an aggressive option, trying to get off that ledge. And K9 is doing a really good job holding the, not quite center stage, but like holding the corner. So that it just made it super hard for Moonbray to get back. This matchup's also hell on earth. <laughs> Ness. Poor Ness. I mean, Moonbray was playing it extremely well. Yeah. You know? So I feel like it is, it is bad for Ness, but it's not completely unwinnable. Not in this game. Not in this game. Yeah. It's still 60-40, dude. It's still, I still feel like it's his hardest matchup. I can see that. I can see that. Oh, I can see I can see Palutena matchup. or like Rosalina being slightly worse. Uh, I was gonna say Palutena is actually the worst matchup. Yeah. I still think this one's worse than Rosalina. Because Rosalina's not as strong in the neutral as Lucina yes. is. Alright. I can see that. Yeah. Cause like last, like in the last game, like Rosalina's was usually disgusting. You couldn't get through her. Her wall was ridiculous. In this game, it's uh, a lot of these hitboxes are kind of tanky here. I mean, I feel like Rosalina's still got some spicy stuff. It's just that they're not as brain dead as I'm gonna dare a million times in neutral like Ike. Yeah. You know. Or even Ness. Ness could also just dare a million times against anything Rosalina wants to do. 
nice weight coming in from K9. Got that uh, jump into there. Oh, Ooh, trying to catch the low recovery, but gets the down smash on the roll. Moombra actually using that yo yo to like kind of catch Kanan's mana goblins. Ooh, gets a parry and there's the grab. Excellent timing from Moombra right there. Got the, got another parry. Got it. What do I do? Gotta grab him. <laughs> I mean, he's at the percent. Yep. Oh no, miss out on the timing. But getting a punish off of it, wow, that was really good on K9's part to just immediately go for the aggressive option. And you know, getting a full combo out of it too. Yeah. Oh, that's a miss input. But it makes it back all right and yeah. comes back aggressively with the fair too to just relieve some of that ledge trapping pressure. Oh, I thought was going to do. Oh, we got to save my force, man. Raw. Yeah. That Raw. force smash is like, I'm going to call out exactly where you're going to land, and that's your death. Yeah. And a look up an eye. That ain't go weird angle, too. And, and this is not looking very good for your, for, if you're an S main, your hero. For mo many other people not. <laughs> a lot of people do not like this. <laughs> I feel like they don't like for Glory online decks. All they do is spam PK Fire. And because of the lag online, you can't really deal with it. And it's like, because the second you try to jump, they, they fair. You know, and the fair is very disjointed hitbox. You know, if you don't have an equally disjointed hitbox, you're going to lose. Yeah. I feel like that's the reason why people don't like Ness. But, ooh, the aggressive up, beat, or up air right there. Kachi K9 off guard, not going to be able to tech it. Alright. Oh, got him with the Nary's off stage. Really bad spot for them right Air dodge up. Oh, got two. Oh, and then the fair just to seal out the sock. Yep. And K9 takes it in a quick 3 0. The future is not written. And he's just like, uh, next. All right. Jeez. Stone like, Cold Killer, bro. I mean, K9 <laughs> went to town and be like, okay, I know my game plan, I know my win condition. Execute and control the pace of the match. And that's what, exactly what he did. But now he has to play against Nito. And he has to play a buffed up Shoto Nito. Disgusting.